Hello guys, welcome back to Upper Creations. It's my pleasure to have you here join me once again. And in today's tutorial, again, we are going to continue with the basis of logo design. So as usual, we open our Inkscape. With our Inkscape opened, if you still want to have my design in background like this, go to view, make sure you're working in custom, go to edit, scroll down here to the preferences, click on that. The preference menu opened go to theme use a dark theme check that box you can come here use the symbolic icons or use default colors for your icons and you click how to deselect now what we're going to do next we go to file document properties we make sure we're working in pixels the units should also be in pixels the width 1280 height 1280 we check out these boxes if you want to have the space around your drawing canvas dark like mine like this you again go to background you click on that having this this way you can choose any color you just want for instance like this with our canvas setup let's begin what we do first we come to the left side panel here where we have our tools we select the circle tool and the shortcut to that is just E. We hold Ctrl and Shift to create a perfectly symmetrical circle like this. We click out to deselect this way. Now, we are not going to use the fill of the circle. So what we are going to do, take out the fill and then be left with just a stroke. So we just need to add a stroke to our circle. And what we do by that, we hold Shift, click on any color to give it a stroke and we click on the little x icon here to take out the fill have it this way again with our stroke made we again open the edit colors and gradients menu under the stroke style we make sure the width we are working in is just three and the units should still be in pixels having done this we right click on this Duplicate. We hold Ctrl and Shift, scale this in to our say here. We hold this, we drag it down to our say somewhere here. Now, again, we right click on this, we duplicate. We hold Ctrl and Shift, scale this in to our say somewhere here. Having done it this way, what we are going to do next is again come to our tools menu here come for the best ZA pen and the shortcut to that is just B. We make a point here, hold control, drag it horizontally, make another point here. Press enter to deselect. We again come here. We need to rotate this stroke here. And the last thing we need to do, open our fill and stroke menu and the stroke style, making sure the width is also in three pixels like this. Having done that, we come to Objects, go down to Transform Menu, and the shortcut to that is the Shift, Control, and M. And the Transform Menu, we come to the Rotate. Now the angle rotation, we're going to give it 55 degree angle. We rotate this in the anti-clockwise direction. Now we apply. Having it this way, we grab this, bring it to our say somewhere here. What we do next, right click on this, duplicate, bring it down to our say somewhere here. Having that done that, right click on the inner circle, we make it selected, hit Ctrl and D to duplicate again, bring this copy to our say somewhere here. We hold Ctrl on the keyboard, scroll up the mouse wheel, or you can use plus on the keyboard to zoom in. Having it this way, we want to make sure that this inner circle here, this circle selected, intersects with the inner circle and the line passing through. So we adjust this and bring it somewhere here. It's also touching the edge. We duplicate this by hitting Ctrl and D, 
bring this copy to about say here. And on this part, again hold control, scroll up, and make sure this circle touches the edge of this line and also the edge of the bigger circle like this. We duplicate this, bring our duplicate copy somewhere here. We make sure this bigger circle is also touching this line and also that circle like this. Scroll out. Select this, duplicate it again, bring it to about say somewhere here. Giving it the shape we are looking for. Again, we hold control. We can use the plus key to zoom in. This way should intersect. Last thing to do, we select this, we duplicate it, we scale it down to our say here, we bring this to our say somewhere here. Having done all these, we select all our shapes here, bring it somewhere down here, again go to path. Combine. Having all these combined, what we'll do next is pick up the square. We're going to draw a square going around the shape like this. Because we took out the fill menu, sorry, the fill color, that's why the square came without a fill. So to add a fill, you just click on just any color like this. Now, we come up here, lower selection one step, and we can use the page down, like this, just to make our shapes be on top of the square. Now, holding shift, select this, having the two selected, that's our shapes in the square. We again go to path, division. Having our parts divided this way, what we'll do next, we click out here to deselect. Again, here, what we're going to do, we click on the square, we delete it. Having the shape here, we select everything here. We hold shift and select the white color to give it a white as well like this. Click how to deselect. We hold the control, we zoom in. Now, we are going to cut out the shape of the bed and the eye. Now, following me carefully, this is what we'll do. We select this shape here, we delete it. Select this one here too, we delete it. We delete this. Select this too, we delete it select this and we delete select this we delete it we delete this now we can see the shape of our bed coming out so what we'll do next select this we delete select this too and we delete Like this, like this, and we delete this too. Having it this way, now we select all these to go to path union, like this. Now 
to give it a white background. that to the back now this becomes our shape for our logo for the bed and the eye now to see the eye of this select this this we have here is the bird and when it's rotated becomes the eye And in today's video, the tip for today is how to use emojis in Windows 10. The Windows key plus full stop. So open the emojis keyboard on Windows 10. Now we select any emoji we want and we are done and as always thank you so much for watching